Hey guys, it's Nate, aka The Foot Accountant. Welcome back to the channel. Just as we talked about and as we expected from yesterday's video, yesterday on Tuesday, we had the first couple leaks of La Liga team of the season, and it is insane to see some of the juice that EA seems to be doing with these La Liga Tots cards. So I want to take a look at the few leaks that we have and also take a look at some breaking information about how we're actually going to figure out the La Liga team of the season cards before Friday. We're going to have the whole team with confirmed stats on Thursday, according to the La Liga Twitter account. I'm actually going to show you that and talk that through how that might impact a few things on the market and also just letting us know what cards we're going to have impacts before we actually see them on Friday. It's kind of like leaks, but not even really. Like it's, They're just going to show us the cards on the La Liga Twitter page. So I'm going to talk about that um, in today's video and also talk about today on Wednesday is a pretty big day because it's guaranteed team of the season pack day for the main league which is bundesliga we had the saudi pro league tots upgrade yesterday very cheap they did put a token inside of it so that made it a little bit more expensive uh but i think a lot of people did it to get that token and to try to pack uh talisca or romarino i was not able to pack either of those um and we had the bundesliga 84 plus double upgrade yesterday which was kind of a phantom pack in which for a lot of people, it was disappearing and it confused a lot of people. So I want to talk about that. That was kind of a crazy little situation at the content drop. I know the servers have been down. Uh, it's kind of been a weird day for you guys finishing weekend league as well. We're awaiting some communication from EA to see if they're going to change anything on that. Um, because technically foot champions is still going on for the next few hours, but the servers were down yesterday at two different time frames for a couple hours apiece. So, um, I don't know if EA is going to do anything since it was so late in that foot champions time frame. Um, just kind of might be out of luck on that one, but we'll see if they do, uh, post anything about that on the direct communication account. So we're going to talk about all of that. And of course, take a look at the market and yesterday's content as a lot of center backs dropped because of this guy right here. Mr. Gavardiol. So all that and more in today's video. But if you're enjoying the videos on the channel, make sure to thumbs up and of course, subscribe if you're new. Let's get right into it and talk about these La Liga Tots cards. These Tots cards right here, th the stats that I'm seeing on these cards, of course, they're not confirmed stats just yet, but we're going to find out tomorrow on Thursday anyway, what the legit stats are sooner than normal. But this really gets the hype flowing for me. Really, it does. Because look at the stats on this Benzema. Absolutely deserved, by the way. 98 rated, 95 pace, 98 dribbling, 98 shooting, 90 passing, and 87 physical. What a boost for Benzema's team of the season. Really for me, looking at these cards today, what it gives me a lot of hype in is knowing that EA is juicing these TOTS cards and hopefully the, the ratings and the stats don't change at all. But hopefully what this does is kind of bring some hype back to the game because I feel like with this last week of Bundesliga TOTS, for myself and for a lot of people, it just didn't hit that great. I mean, yes, the cards are good. There's some really cool items that have been put out. Of course, we had the Gavardiol SBC yesterday, which a lot of people have been very excited about and doing. It's a really cheap, really popular center back item. And, you know, that's changing up some people's teams. But these cards right here look insane. And it's getting the hype built back up again after kind of a quieter week with Bundes Tots so far. I'm excited for this. I'm ready for this, and this gets me looking forward to this weekend on FIFA. So this is the biggest juice of any of the Tots cards that we have leaked right now. Look at the state of this Luka Modric card. 90 pace, 97 dribble, 98 passing, and 90 shooting. This card's going to be absolutely phenomenal. I don't even know if we're going to get a weak foot or scoom of upgrade, but also just look at the overall rating, 97 that is way up there, right? It gives me Bundesliga vibes once again in the fact that they're boosting the overall so much higher. 97 level, 97 Kimmich, right? 96 Bellingham. The overalls on these cards are getting very, very boosted, and they're giving some pretty big stat upgrades, right? They did a few for Bundesliga, but for me, this just looks so much more hyped with a lot better just link ability with other cards that are already out in the game. La Liga's got a ton of special cards this year, and I think that this is really going to bring the hype for a lot of people on this game. That's just only one insane midfielder that we have leaked right now. Here's the second one, Tots. Pedri, and I do have to make a little bit of a point on this. The 91 physical is not correct. We got super duper excited on this. We're like, oh my gosh, 91 physical. This card will be disgusting. It's actually going to be 81 physical. So it's like a plus three over the Pedri Future Stars card, of course, which a lot of people are looking at on the market right now. So it's a pretty solid item, right? He's going to be Hullet Gang finally getting over that, um, you know, into the 80s in the physical range. What's really going to be key for this Pedri is... 
what is the weak foot or skill move going to be? His gold card is four star, four star. His future stars is five star skills, four star weak foot. If they give this card four star skills as, all, as well, or maybe if they give him a five star weak foot, uh, I think that would add a lot of value to this card. If it doesn't have either of those, maybe just a slight bit of disappointment if that does not happen. But this card looks absolutely cracked and he's gonna be up there. We've had so many great midfielders so far. Graven Birch, um, we've had Bellingham, of course, and Kunku technically would be a midfielder for most people. This guy is going to slot right in there as one of the top TOTS midfielders that is going to be released on this game. He's going to be pretty expensive. I think that I, I said in my predictions video, 1.5 mil for this card. If they give him a skill move or a weak foot boost to either five star, I think it's going to be two mil. I think I have to up my valuation after seeing how expensive Jude Bellingham is, knowing how much hype this Pedri has and all the Barcelona links that could be in this team of the season. I think I'm going to have to shout this card probably at 2 million coins and maybe starting even a little higher than that on the weekend. That card looks really, really good. Now, there's not a ton of stats that are leaked. There's only four cards right now that we have, but this is the last one, and it's an insane center back, and it caused even a little bit more panic on Bundesliga center back Indica being French in the game and, and the hype French center back to use right now is this Koundé, right? 91 pace, 95 defense, 90 physical, 87 dribbling. A lot of you guys remember that team of the year honor mentions Kunde card that so many people absolutely loved. This dude's going to be cracked. He's got the French links. He's got the La Liga links as well. This guy is going to be a very, very sought after Tots card. But as I'm looking through all of these cards, the one thing that, stay, that stays the same is EA's giving out some pretty big boosts. They're really, really putting out, especially on this Modric. I mean, I have to show you guys this. I know we just looked at Benzema, but I got to show you this Modric, man. He's going from 90 rated with 72 physical. From 90 rated with 72 physical, he's going to 97 rated with 86 physical plus 14. Plus 14 physical. That is a massive, massive boost. And I love it. I'm here for it. I'm all about it. This Modric card, a lot of people have loved. He's up in price a lot. He was like 240, 250 yesterday. He's up to 300,000 coins because I think people are looking at this card and like, yo, that's going to be somewhere closer to like that 750, 800,000 coin range just because of how high rated it is and how great the stats look on this game and all the other great Real Madrid links that are going to be out during La Liga Tot. So all of these leaks combined gets me really, really hyped for La Liga team this season. I think you're going to see more leaks today. And I think you just keep an eye on Twitter. I know we've been looking at Twitter like this whole video so far. But keep an eye on Foot Sheriff and keep an eye on Twitter for more leaks because here's the real big piece of information. This was tweeted out by the official La Liga Twitter account with 8 million followers. Uh, I just followed them yesterday. So if you have not, make sure you do and uh, get ready for Thursday. Because they tweeted out and said, on Thursday, we will meet the best 15 players of the season in the team of the season together with EA Sports FIFA. You can follow it live on our social networks from 7 p.m. I don't know if that's 7 p.m. UK. I don't know if that's 7 p.m. Spain time because this is the La Liga account, of course, based in Spain. But that's kind of one thing to keep an eye out on. And one thing we're going to have to watch for tomorrow on Thursday. They did this last year. On the La Liga Tots Friday, there was like a live stream on the EA4, EA Sports FIFA Spanish YouTube channel. They did a live stream revealing all the cards in Tots. It sounds like it's going to be some sort of thing like that. But I would imagine that um, it says here that you can follow it on the social networks at 7 p.m. So I'm, I'm assuming they're going to post all the cards on their Twitter starting Thursday at 7 p.m. So we're going to know the team of the season cards ahead of time. On this Thursday, whatever 7 p.m., whatever time zone that is, the big fact here is that we're going to learn about what cards are in TOTS with their official stats posted basically by EA Sports on Thursday. And we're going to go into Friday knowing the cards that we're going to be getting. So there won't be as much of a surprise factor, but it will be really, really cool to kind of watch this reveal and to, to look at these cards. And of course, we'll take a look at them after they're released, depending on what time that is, we'll kind of fact that into when the video goes live and stuff on Friday. But that's big information because again, like I mentioned, we're gonna go into La Liga Tots on Friday, knowing what cards we're actually gonna see on the market and absolute confirmed legit stats. The, this would not be like a leak, right? Like we, we took a look at the Benzema. We're like, okay, will Benzema have these leaks or these stats? It's, you know, expected stats right now. EA could of course change those one or two like we've seen, but the cards that we see on Thursday will be the actual final 15 cards 
in the La Liga team of the season. So that's really exciting. And it's also kind of throwing, I guess, a bit of a twist into the plans of this week as well. And we'll continue to cover that as we head throughout the rest of this week. So that's the big information related to the La Liga Tots. And again, the overarching theme is they're going all out, it looks. So I'm excited to see more leaks, excited to get more information regarding that. Now, let's talk about today on FIFA, Wednesday. What's big about Wednesdays, right? The guaranteed Tots pack. We started yesterday with the lower league. Today, we're going to have the main league. I feel like there's not a ton to talk about with this because last week for uh, Premier League, they made it really cheap. They made it an 86-rated squad for the Premier League Tots guaranteed. We were like, wow. We were expecting an 87 or an 88. I think that this week, they might have to wow us again. If they make it anything higher than 86, people are going to be disappointed. And I think that this week, it's going to actually come in as an 85-rated squad and a team of the season. So if you've got some fodder in the club, um, make sure you save that for today because I think you're going to get yourself a shot at Nkunku. I think you're going to get yourself a shot at Bellingham. All these great cards that are in the team of the season for the Bundesliga. Um, and it's only going to cost you an 85-rated squad and one TOTS player. That's what it was last week. Um, or it was 86 last week. So I think they're going to take one step down this week for the Bundesliga SBC. That's kind of my opinion on how that's going to work out this week. Uh, you know, your, your fodder cards right now, uh, if we take a look at the SBC fodder market and kind of rope this into the conversation here, fodder is doing very well. If you bought 83s under 1,000 coins, if you bought 84s in the low twos, 84s are up like 2,000 coins a piece. 85s are up almost 3K a piece from their absolute low. 86s are rising. Fodder is looking very, very good right now if you've held on or if you invested on the weekend. I think if you want to take the quick cash, you can probably sell uh, You know, today on Wednesday, tomorrow on Thursday, either of those two days before some of these SBCs kind of expire and we have some more pack supply coming in on Friday for a lot of Liga Tots. If you want to, you don't have to, but if you want to, you can. So just kind of keep that in mind with these cards uh, right here. And you know, those are a pretty good investment. Again, like we saw the 84s were like 2K or 2.5K on like Friday, Saturday. Now they're up at like almost 5,000 coins a piece. I think they'll hit 5K today with that Bundesliga Tots pack being released. If you had the fodder, you might want to wait until like right after content drop with that Bundesliga Tots being released because it should cause a bit of a spike on these as it has done basically every single week. Now also talking about Tots Bundesliga cards and this, this is another tricky situation. I'm going to be honest because now that we're seeing some of the leagues for La Liga Tots, we talked about in yesterday's video, maybe an opportunity to buy some of these cards. The really thing I'm, I'm worried about now is are these cards actually going to drop low enough to seem buyable as a lot of them are just up so much in price. You know, Lewandowski was 560. Now he's 635. Kimmich was 700 K. Now he's 834. Davies after the Gavardiola SBC was dropped yesterday is uh, now up to like 300,000 coins. Bellingham is 34. Diaby's 150 K. Verts is over 400,000 coins. I really think that today on Wednesday is going to be an interesting day to see what happens with these. Like we saw last week with the Premier League, you remember guys like Bernardo Silva, Trent Alexander-Arnold, those cards got panicked big time on the release of the Guaranteed Tots SBC. Today, I think you're going to see a lot of people from that pack getting Neuer, Diaby, Muller, Frimpong, Schlotterbeck, Kostic. You know, so keep an eye on cards like Diaby, Muller, Verts. Um, you know, maybe Davies as well, getting packed, Holland getting packed a few times. If there's panic selling on some of those cards that are really popular, but still might be packed a decent amount from the Bundesliga Tots guaranteed, or even panic ahead of time on that, you might have an opportunity to trade and flip with a couple of these cards today. But as this looks right here, from an investing, purely investing perspective, I, I don't want to buy any of these cards and try to invest for them to go out of packs. I would rather try to invest in other areas of the market and try to make coins in other ways because I just look at this team and how the hype has just been kind of meh this week for most people, it seems. I just want to stay away. There doesn't seem to be as much hype with these cards going out of packs compared to the much the amount of hype that there is for the La Liga Tots cards that are coming into the game. So I'm going to take a break from investing in these probably, except for a couple of quick flips and a couple of trades um, on the market for maybe some of these Bundesliga cards. So that's kind of my take at the moment and how I'm going to go about with these cards. Um, and I'm probably not going to, I wouldn't really recommend investing in these cards for a rise out of packs. Maybe a couple of them could, but only if you want to buy one of them for your team, try to find a low price today on Wednesday or tomorrow on Thursday. Now, a couple things that could help out with a low price with these cards today is of course we do have weekly rewards. So that's going to bring in just a little bit of supply 
Uh, but also today on Wednesday, we have a new team of the week. And for the last few weeks, EA has taken the opportunity to run lightning rounds on Wednesdays and Thursdays before these cards go out of packs. And especially like we saw on the weekend, if they run those Bundesliga specific lightning rounds once again, that is going to drop these cards a decent amount on the market. And of course, we have not seen it yet, but if they ever are to drop that, um, the swap token, the TOTS swap token pack, we talked about it at the very end of yesterday's video. I think that that would supply a lot of your TOTS cards on the market. Whenever that pack drops, I don't know when it's going to be, whether it's going to be before Bundesliga go out of packs or if it's going to be after La Liga joins packs, then I think that you're going to see those, whatever TOTS cards are in packs, they're going to get hit with some supply. So I don't know when that pack's going to be. I don't think it's even added into the code. I don't know if they're going to even add it into the code. Um, but just kind of keep an eye out on that. That's one other thing today with lightning rounds, that pack potentially dropping, that I would be an, another variable to throw into the situation that I really don't want to mess with. Really right now, what it, the market is moving the most in is, well, first of all, from yesterday, a lot of center backs are down. Uh, because of the Gavardiol SBC, which is a very, very well-priced SBC, it crashed a lot of center backs on this game. Ruben Diaz was like 230, 240,000 coins. He's still down here at like 210, 220. I was looking at potentially flipping him. Um, I did buy a couple Klostermans just because he actually links to the Gavardiol, who is not that easy to link. Klosterman was down at like 320k. Oh, my man's flying. Okay, we'd love to see that. So I bought a few of these at like 330, 320, 330. He's back up to 360, 370. Um, so that's a pretty nice profit on a card like this. I might take the quick cash though here uh, on this, or if you bought some Hinka pays, any of the, the center backs that were panic sold yesterday um, that were out of packs, Bundesliga cards. Hinka pay is kind of like 71k. He was down at like 60k. I bought a couple of those there. You know, I might sell those with this small bounce back because we, it looks like we're getting some really incredible team of the season center backs for La Liga Tots once again. So if you want to take the safe cash there, you can. Could Klosterman be back up to 400K today at some point? If you bought any of these, he might be. This card is incredibly rare. As you can see here, there's not very many of them on the market. And people will be buying some Bundesliga cards to link up uh, and to put in their teams um, as they get rewards today, as they go out and, and play Bundesliga Cup as well. There's going to be people uh, to, that will go out and try to buy those cards up. So if you bought any of those center backs yesterday, I think the one that got hurt the most was actually Indica. And, and he is in packs. But the reason that he went down yesterday was because Gavardiol, a combination of that and because of that leak that we just looked at for the Kunde card, people saw that. And he this Indica was like 380,000 coins. He went from 380 to about 330. And then he dropped even lower after the Kunde leak came out because Kunde's card, of course, is an insane French center back with a lot of hype. So a lot of center backs were affected on the market. I think they could rebound a little bit, um, maybe before the weekend, and that might be an opportunity to take your cash uh, before we have some more insane center backs that will probably be more, a little more expensive, like a Kunde, a Militao, um, Alaba, Araujo. If all of those four, three of those four or all four are in La Liga Tots, potentially, uh, you might have a lot of people changing up their teams in that center back position later on this weekend, depending on how cracked those cards look. So just be careful with that. And the last thing I got to say on the market is, again, we're being very careful with some of these La Liga out of packs special cards. And I think a lot of people have started to say that, hey, these cards have risen up so much that I'm going to start to sell. Because take a look at this Danny Alves. He was 310,000 coins on Saturday. He's now 400K. This is, I mean, it was a really good investment at the time because you think, okay, what right back, if there's no right back that's going to be in the TOTS team, or if there is and it's Jesus Navas, he doesn't have that much hype. This Danny Alves with the Barcelona links going to have a lot of hype. Or some of these other team of the season um, cards that could potentially link to team of the seasons that have risen up a lot in price. You know, a lot of people are thinking about selling in the hype and taking that cash early. I think that's a pretty smart move if you, if you don't want to risk it. But, you know, on some of the higher tier items, I, I think you don't have to take the cash. Like on a guy like Kamavinga, who was, I believe, 400,000 coins flat. Uh, or maybe the low 400s. How much is he right now? He's up like 30, 40,000 coins. So he's not up that much. And this is a guy that a lot of people would want to put in their teams to link during the promo of La Liga team this season. Great links, perfect link to Benzema. You know, you've got Modric in the midfield that he would link to. Maybe, you know, some more center backs. Vinicius Jr. is a left wing card. There's going to be a lot of La Liga hype. So 
I think that you could sell some of your La Liga specials in the hype. The ones that I would really try to sell would be ones that are on the lower tier that have gone up a ton. Like how much is this Berchiche? We've been looking at him about every single video. He's still 36, 37,000 coins. Um, there was another card, Brian Hill. This, this is an example of a card that I would maybe sell. Uh, because Brian Hill was like 20 something K and now I think he's over 40. How much is he? He's 42 K and this guy was like 27 K on the weekend. I know it's a good card. It's really, really cheap. And this card for me is just not going to be one that would rise a terribly ton, a terrible ton after, um, that La Liga Tots would come out with all those cards being released. So if some cards are up a lot, if you're in a lower tier La Liga special, especially, um, that wouldn't have a lot of hype or just doesn't have that greatest stats and it seems like people are just buying it up to buy it up Then that would be the type of card that I would sell But if it's a really rare card like that Danny Alves that would still have a lot of hype Then potentially you hold on to it, right? And then you have a lot of different places in between where it's like, okay There's gonna be a lot of center backs coming out This Militao right now is at like 220 230k. So he's up a little bit, but not that much So I mean, I'm all the cards that I bought are pretty rare for the La Liga tots out of packs buys like i bought some vinnie juniors in the low 700s between 700 and 720k and he's 800,000 coins right i'm gonna keep holding on to his card i bought some bales at 220 he's still pretty low um you know i got some melitos a couple fakirs whether fakirs and tots or not that's also a question that we have to kind of ask ourselves this dembele card i know that's dembele and it's five star five star but you know he's only up about 15,000 coins i bought these at 100k and he's 115 as you saw right there so you know, just going to be careful with a lot of these cards and, and take take the easy road if possible. I'm actually going to list up one of these right now at like three. Let's go 370. If we get the sale, I will take that. 320 to 370, I have no problems with a quick flip. Uh, just a couple hours kind of flip on that. So that's kind of how I'm thinking about La Liga specials. Just be careful with them if you have them. There's so much more investing this week than there were the last couple of weeks. Um, and so just be very careful with those because with that over investing, uh, potential there selling on the hype could be the play for some of the cards maybe not all of them but some of them so that's kind of that situation uh, at the moment last couple things today on wednesday what else can we expect the 75 plus times 10 sbc is going to be re-upped today so it's, as you can see here it's going to be repeatable once again that, that one i think was an 84 squad uh is what you had to turn in for that yesterday they dropped the bundesliga 84 plus double upgrade and it was glitched. You open the pack and then it would say, sorry, this pack's no longer available. And it would send the cards from the pack to your unassigned. So I opened this pack, didn't of course see who was walking out of it, went to my unassigned. And that's why you see the blue counter being up to 48. I packed Kostic and Neuer in that pack. It was kind of crazy uh, that I got both those cards in, the, in that pack because a lot of people just got like an 84 or an 85. Oh, the reds have dynamics now. Okay, that's nice. That Dave, my Red Davies is looking real nice there on the left side. Um, but yeah, so that was my pretty insane 84 plus. But if you did that SPC and you couldn't find the cards, it should be in your unassigned. That was the glitched issue issue with that yesterday. Um, also, just a little bit of an account update at the moment. Um, I did finish the Vieira SPC yesterday and I did do Gavardiol. Um, and Gavardiol is in the Bundesliga uh, Cup team that we have rocking with that. And Vieira is probably going to end up coming in and playing center back for Desai. People say he's really OP at center back. So I'm going to go ahead and give him a tryout. I mean, I know he'll be a little bit off Ken um, if I end up putting him in the starting 11. But I think it might be worth it because Desai has been a true workhorse for the club. And he's a really great card. But I think Vieira is going to be a step up as a center back based off of how people say that he plays. So I plan to do a lot more player picks though. Today on Wednesday, I, I plan to do a pretty solid send of the 80 plus times threes rares i think are like 950 to a thousand coins so they're a bit cheaper also make sure you get this uel road to the final it's like a it's basically like marquee matchups again and it's super easy to do really solid packs will give you some rares and non-rares at the very least to stock into your club uh so i think that's a very very nice sbc to go ahead and go do so i know we're going a little bit long once again on a video today i just can't stop talking because this game is getting me excited with what is headed towards us content wise today and on this weekend so if you enjoyed the video today smash the thumbs up on it comment down below if you have any questions and of course subscribe if you are new it has been nate the foot account and i'll catch you guys later peace